honestly think we can oh, do yeah. well. Carry on with um, Mark Roberts and Raven at the back. Amis, keep up with the goals and then why not? But the only the only thing that I think we have to bear in mind is looking at the, the run-ins, the fixture list, I think. Arguably on paper, Farsley have got the easiest run-in. They've got, got a couple of difficult games and as we know, anyone can drop points. They lost yeah. They lost 1-0 to Witten Albion who had a man sent off. Farsley missed a penalty. It just didn't seem to be their day at the weekend. But if they have that nicer run of games they can build a bit of momentum but I'll say it's I still think it's a four horse race any one of the top four have still got a great chance because anyone can beat anyone in this league do you definitely think Nantwich are up there with the top three at the minute although they're like seven points behind yeah they're, they're a bit behind but you never know once once they pick up a couple of wins again their um, the confidence could grow a little bit and I don't know there, there is a, a little bit of a gap but then you know that teams on the day, if they're not playing well, they lose, they drop points, and that was epitomised by Farsley. So it only takes a, a few games, a few a few wins, and that builds the confidence. You look a bit further down the table, there's no reason why some of the other teams maybe not... Maybe Scarborough's not get... dropped off a bit. They were yeah, exactly. The lead in the league. And you, there's no reason why a lot of these teams that are a little bit further down, if they, in their last 10, 11 games, could pick up 20, 30 points they're right up there into not not necessarily for the top spot but they can catapult themselves to the playoffs and I think that just shows how fiercely competitive this league is